Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. And thanks for joining me today. We're gonna have a, a relatively short video. I believe this is gonna go up as a premiere so you guys can be chatting with me while I show you all these lovely lip colors. You might hear sounds in the background, I apologize. That's one of my dogs being restless. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about the Chanel, and I always get the name wrong. It's the Ultra to New. So, I actually have five shades. Um, let me show them to you next to one another. They all look very similar. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm gonna actually pick up some, some red shades, I think, when I pick up Holiday. But anyway, um, so they are Light Brown, which is a brand new shade. There is Chic Rosewood, which is uh, an existing shade. There is Tender Beige, which was an existing shade. There is Endless Pink, which is new. And there is Timeless Beige, which is new. I know, lots of beiges. Sorry guys, it's my thing. Um, so anyway, I am gonna pick up, like I said, some reds for the holiday. But for the moment, these are the ones I have. I'm gonna show you how these look on my lips because swatching them you know, with any lip product doesn't really work. Um, I will admit, I have a particular type of lip shade. My lips are pretty pink, uh, pretty light. So these are gonna show up more than say if you have a very pigmented lip color, which some of you do but it's the best I can do because these are the only lips I have. So let's start with the Endless Pink. All right, so the way that this works is you take the lip color side, really good, Jen, brilliant, uh, put it on your lips. So it doesn't feel like a liquid lip or anything like that. It feels a little drying, a little matte, and when it feels that way, that's when you go back in with the gloss side. So the gloss side is the um, Chanel side. So you open it up, little, little teeny brush, put it on your lips. And that's what it looks like. And it literally sort of dries this way. And so you get this kind of glossy lip, but it doesn't come off. You can wear it throughout the day. You can wear it under a mask. It's not gonna be this glossy all day. What it kind of turns into is like a satiny kind of look but it stays on all day. It looks really pretty. You can eat with it, you can drink with it. It's, a, it's an amazing formula. So that's the Endless Pink. Okay, so let's move on to the second one. And guys, this is, these are really hard to get off, so I have to scrub my face. So by the end of five, I'm gonna guess my face is gonna be, my lips are gonna be a little bit pink. Sorry about that, but they're, they're really hard to get off. Uh, so let's go into Timeless Beige. Okay, that's the Timeless Beige. And like I said, we just sort of sit and you wait like a minute <laughs> and you do something else uh, and wait for it to dry down. And a lot of people ask me like, well, how will I know? You'll know. It, 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 you, your lips start to feel a little tight, a little dry, and that's when you know to put the gloss on. There's not an exact science. It's not like I've ever timed it, although I guess I could. I mean, for you guys, I guess I could, but I usually wait like a minute. And then I feel it, like I do. It, it feels, like if you ever put on a mask that is supposed to be like a um, an, um, drying mask, like a clay mask, that's what it kind of feels like. And so then you take the gloss side and you put it on. I'll be honest with you, when I first heard about this, I was in a Chanel, where was I? I was in a Chanel boutique somewhere. Really helpful, I know, but somewhere in the country. And I was traveling and I was talking about how my lipstick basically is gone by the end of the day. When I travel, I used to travel a lot. Uh, and I'd be like, I, I feel like I'm always applying stuff. And she's like, you gotta use this. This is gonna stay on all day. And I was like, no, I can't use, um, you know, liquid lipsticks. My, my skin is so dry, I can't do it. She's like, just try one of them. If you absolutely hate it, just return it. And I was like, I don't live here. <laughs> And she's like, just try it. And I was hooked, and that was a couple years ago. And that is Timeless Beige. And the only thing that actually I saw as like a drawback to the line at all was that when I first started buying them, there weren't a lot of shades. This was a while back. Now there's a, there's a number of shades. They just released eight new ones. And I'm sure they'll come out with more. I do need to pick up the red. There were two red shades, I think. I can't remember. There was, um, I think there were two red shades in this collection. 
that actually the one looked like too burgundy for me, but the other one looks beautiful and I should have picked it up, but I'll get it for holiday. Okay, on to the third one. Okay, <laughs> my lips hurt so bad. Okay, third one, uh, tender beige. They don't hurt because of the, the lipsticks. They hurt because I'm scrubbing them off in between each one. This is one of my favorite shades. This is the tender beige. It's definitely got a pink to it, which as you know, I'm not a huge pink person, but I do love this particular pink. It's like a brownie pink um, and it really goes with anything. As you probably noticed, I'm not using lip liners with these. I generally don't because they, I don't think they need them. Plus the formula in these are so specific. Um, I, I just, I guess I just never got into the habit of wearing liners with them. You can though. It's not like if you wear a liner with it, it's gonna mess up the formula and then it's not gonna stay on your lips. It does work, because um, I've seen other people do it. I just, I just never got in the habit of doing it. Let's put on the lip gloss. And that is Tender Beige. This one is my favorite, I think. Um, like I said, it, it kind of goes with everything. I do know all the shades look kind of similar, sorry, but those are the shades I'm attracted to. <laughs> those are the things I generally buy. I don't really wear a red lipstick. Um, again, red hair, you know, pale skin, but I am gonna pick up a red. I know I've said it three times now, so I think you guys believe me. All right, time to take this one off. On to the next one, two more to go. Okay, so the next one is Chic Rosewood. This was actually the first shade I ever picked up. I think you can see this one has more of like a rosewood. You know, it's got um, more of a plummy kind of undertone. Just to keep in mind when you're looking at all these shades, my skin pulls cool, so all the shades cool, pull cool, no matter what. And that is Chic Rosewood. So that's Chic Rosewood. All right, so last but not least is going to be a light brown. Okay, I now remember why I didn't want to do this <laughs> video in the first place. My lips hurt so bad. Um, <laughs> sorry, I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to whine about it, but <laughs> it's so painful. Uh, but anything for, my, um, anything for my feisty family, right? So it's for you guys, it's okay. But the next shades I get, I'm just gonna do them one at a time and you're just gonna, <laughs> you're just gonna have to imagine what they look like compared to the others. All right, here we go. Okay, so this is the light brown. I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. And that's light brown. Here, let me get the camera. The camera's doing weird things. Um, when you look at them on the lips, yeah, they're different, but they're not drastically different. I think, I could certainly look for some shades that have more like an orange, um, definitely some reds. I'll take a look at the shade range and see what's out there, maybe pick up three or four more of them since I love the formula and, um, you know, branch out a little bit. So thanks all of you for requesting this because I would have never done it otherwise because, um, uh, you know, there's some pain involved. No, I, I and I, you know, I don't mean to, I really, I don't mean to complain. I'm not trying to be difficult. Um, I'm happy to do it for all of you, but I will say they are really hard to get off, which is the point. They last forever. So if you put one of these on and then you decide to, to change the lips color, you have to scrub it. It's not like it's gonna come off with even like a wipe. I use the um, uh, Cogendo Cleansing Spa, wipes when I when I do these types of things you know in front of you for camera and I have been scrubbing my lips with those and then a micro towel to try to get them off uh, and the, the wipes alone did not do it so just be aware of that like the, the the great thing about this product is that it stays on forever but if you need to get it off it's gonna be difficult to get off you can't have everything guys if it's gonna stay on through masks, food, drinks, airplanes, then it's also gonna be hard to remove. I have nothing but fabulous things to say about this. I would love to know from Chanel how they did it. They're not gonna tell me, because they're not gonna reveal that secret. 
but this stuff is really impressive. If I were to take this micro towel, this very bright micro towel, and kiss it right now, watch what happens. There's nothing on this towel. Nothing to see here. Nothing, nothing on this space of the towel, right? Okay, ready? I know I look like an idiot. So, and that's a microfiber towel that's supposed to remove things. And I've been scrubbing my lips with it for the last five shades. So it doesn't come off, guys. If you put a mask on right now, it's not gonna come off on your mask. Which, in these days, if you want something on your lips, you wanna go out, you wanna have makeup on, you wanna have something on your lips, this is the product to do it with, because it's not coming off. And the pro for this, compared to like a liquid lipstick, like a matte that's, you know, going to, or stain, is that this does not dry my lips out. So it just stays that way all day, <laughs> through everything. Now, I'm not gonna say that it has like the same intensity. Obviously, you can see by like doing that, um, it, the color's a little bit more muted. It's not like a shiny, shiny lipstick for the entire day, but it does keep its color. It does keep it, you know, it stays on your lips through pretty much anything. Um, the longest I've ever worn it was 23 hours. Uh, I had to take a trip to, I was for work, I literally had to take one, two, three, four planes to get where I was going. And by the time I got there, it was basically a day. It was basically 24 hours had passed. And it was still, it was still there. It was diluted. It wasn't as like, the color wasn't as strong, but it was still there. True story. No, I'm not, Chanel's not paying me guys. I don't have any, I don't have any, I don't have any stock in Chanel. I mean, nothing. This is, this is all my opinion. These products work. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in another video really soon. Bye.